equator is the first big milestone on the long route covered by the Vendée Globe. Crossing from one hemisphere to the other at latitude zero is a rite of passage that is worth recording for posterity. On crossing the equator, it is traditional for sailors to make an offering, usually at the alcoholic variety to Neptune to gain the good graces of the Roman god of the sea. Cette offrande est pour toi, pour le passage de l'équateur. Un peu pour le bateau. Not content with drinking to Neptune's health, the 21st century sailor also has a direct line. Ouais, salut Neptune connecté 2.0. Euh, C'est euh, Benjamin là, de Omnia Water Family. Voilà, savoir si euh, je, pouvais, euh, je pouvais passer quoi. Ok, super. Allez, merci euh, Neptune 2.0. A plus. Pour oh, Neptune, merci de m'avoir laissé passer l'équateur. Et voilà, pour Neptune. Pour le dieu de la mer. Une offrande pour mon beau bateau Simbad. Et le reste, c'est pour moi. Hein. Je peux pas déconner non plus. Beer, cognac, champagne? Beware of mixing your drinks, Neptune. Every four years when the Vendée Globe is in town, Neptune tends to have one too many at the equator bar. Is it the boat listing, or is it the horizon that's askew? Or is it simply the intoxicating effect of the open sea? Three days after crossing the equator, race leader Alex Thompson appeared groggy, but not through alcohol. Although the strong favorite was one of the rare few not to have filmed himself making an offering to Neptune, to suggest that the god was seeking revenge is maybe a slight exaggeration. Well, not a good, uh, not a good time yesterday. Uh, something wasn't feeling very right, and uh, I uh, was checking around the boat, and I found a problem in the bow, a structural problem. Okay, so we're going through the hole. And through the hole, you can see uh, in here how the, the structure of the boat works. As Alex is pointing out, the carbon structure was cracked in several places. To give you an idea, sailing in such a state would be like trying to walk on a leg with multiple fractures. After seeking advice from his team of experts, Alex went into do-it-yourself mode to get his boat shipshape again. So the good news is uh, that we carry so much materials on board to fix this kind of thing, from sea plate, solid carbon, panels, and even girders. So we've got plenty of material to be able to fix it. The other good news is I'm not in the Southern Ocean. I'm in the middle of the St. Helena High. So I've got really good conditions to be able to do the job. Uh, and the other good news is I feel super positive and, uh, and, and happy to crack on, get this job done, and get back in the race as soon as possible. Alex had wisely taken enough materials on board to turn his boat into a floating workshop. He put the race on standby for almost 48 hours as he set to work. Drilling, sanding, patching, laminating, day and night. Why did the black vessel structure suffer to such an extent? Alex has offered no explanation so far. Meanwhile, Mr. Mender has handed over the race lead to others. Thomas Ruillon and his blue boat currently lie in second place behind Charlie Dallin, the new pace setter of the Vendée Globe. A new day is dawning. Un super lever de soleil en bas. Regardez-moi ça. Bon, une nuit euh, un 
peu plus euh, rapide que ce que je pensais. Euh, J'ai eu pas mal de vent cette nuit au final. On a fait des belles pointes de vitesse là. Euh, C'était à 25 nœuds. Charlie Delin is 36 and taking part in his first Vendée Globe. He trained as a naval architect before converting his passion for single-handed ocean racing into his day job. Charlie may be as laid back as a sax solo, but he's a formidable sailor. His boat somewhat mirrors the skipper, innovative and well-structured. A newer generation state-of-the-art foiler, but technology isn't everything. Que le côté humain est, est important et il est même fondamental sur le vent des globes. Et les bateaux sont ultra technologiques, sont à la pointe, vont très vite. Mais voilà, c'est il y a des, des humains qui les mènent et il faut que l'humain soit en face avec son bateau. Il faut savoir quand tirer, quand appuyer sur l'accélérateur, quand freiner, quand réparer, savoir réparer. C'est une course qui est voilà, il faut un alignement, un alignement, un alignement de planète, je pense, parfait pour pour la remporter. In spite of everything, this is not a mountaineer in training. It is second place Thomas Ruyon who was forced to ascend his mast to attend to an issue at the masthead. C'était vraiment dur. Euh, là j'ai un peu les bras défoncés. Mais j'y suis arrivé, ça c'est principal. Et là j'attaque les, euh, les petites réparations que je dois faire. Alors là je vous donne quand même un. From an altitude of 29 meters, Tama contemplated the seascape, an ideal moment to reflect on just how far he had come. After retiring from the last Vendée Globe four years ago, Thomas Ruyon and his team began building a new boat a newer generation foiler, similar to Charlie Dallin's. She did her first series of tags at high speed in September 2019. We thought we où finalement on se rend compte que on se pose la question de, ouais putain, on va tourner autour du monde avec ces, ces machines là quoi mais l'homme s'habitue et donc euh, euh, je sais que ça sera dur mais je sais aussi qu'on a fait tout ce qu'il fallait pour que le bateau puisse <rire> m'accepter à bord During the night of the 24th of November a collision with a non-identified floating object cracked Ruyon's port side foil he still lies second in the standings, but his boat will not be quite as swift. On est troisième bah de, du vent des globes. Eh bah, qui l'eût cru hein? Avec euh, notre quatre un peu customisé. Pour un moment pareil, écoutez, je vais enlever mon micro. The father figure is holding on to third place in this race, with neither foils nor other such embellishments. Jean Le Cam is 61 years old, an age for an early retirement. Except that Jean Le Cam has no intention of retiring from anything. He's even said about himself, Grandpa's still in the game. Grandpa is making faster headway than most of the young skippers at the helm of boats that look like aircraft. Ah, je ne fais jamais de globalité sur l'être humain. Parce que 
Des jeunes cons, il y en a. Des vieux cons, il y en a. Je sais pas, il y a beaucoup de gens qui disent « Mais pourquoi t'as pas beaucoup de cheveux blancs ?» Alors ça, ce serait un facteur qui dirait que finalement, on change pas. Mais on change quand même. Il fait chaud, hein wow. Il fait 33 euh, sous-abri. Et dedans, c'est la fournaise. On transpire. Ah, J'ai l'impression d'avoir les... Je pas laver mes cheveux depuis des jours, alors que j'ai pris un shampoing hier. Pas grave, on va retourner euh, se baigner à l'avant du bateau. Watching Maxime Sorel shower isn't just eye candy. It helps understand how the obsession with sailing fast in the Vendée Globe takes precedence over personal hygiene. To shower, you need to be sailing in latitudes where the weather is mild. Woo! Je peux vous dire, ça fait du bien la petite douche quotidienne. Et j'en profite parce que c'est pas dans les mers du sud que je peux pouvoir faire ça. Oh! Oh là là! Que ça fait du bien! Elle est bonne, elle est bonne Petite douche dans l'hémisphère sud à bord de Maître Coque oh. Ah bah celle-là Première depuis 15 jours Depuis le départ au sable de l'Aude Bon alors la petite technique aussi, c'est de se laver en caleçon. Alors pourquoi Eh bien tout simplement parce que ça lave en même temps. Du coup, tu le laisses sécher l'après-midi et t'es bon pour une semaine après. Voilà. Ah. Bon, ça, ça reste entre nous. Hein. Faut pas dire hein, quand même. Si ma femme elle apprend ça, je vais me faire un peu taper dessus. Ouais, je peux tout. Tu me fiches Bon, tu dois quoi d'autre, monsieur Je vais t'enlever les salles. L'asciugatina con asciugamano da tuffi e l'ultimo evento il talchino dell'Italia. Pa rigenerante. Lo skipper di Frisbee Group è nuovo e pronto per un'altra settimana. On est au milieu de anticyclone de Sainte-Hélène et j'ai Boris Herman. Juste derrière moi, ça fait deux jours que, que l'on navigue ensemble et à vue, ça fait plaisir de pouvoir discuter ensemble de la vie à bord, de nos petits soucis techniques et de ce que nous réserve la suite. Alors on se sent moins seul sur ce Vendée Globe. Hein. Sympa d'avoir un pote. Ouais Boris, euh, comment tu vas Pas mal, pas mal, et toi it is always surprising to find two solo sailors sailing with inside of each other after over 15 days at sea and 5,300 miles of racing. To celebrate this unusual encounter, Boris Herman didn't crack open the champagne, but filmed it with his drone. The skippers send ocean postcards with their onboard cameras. This gives sofa sailors a fairly good idea of their daily routines. Bonjour à tous, dixième jour de mer à bord de Groupe Apicil sur ce Vendée Globe. Le dixième jour, c'est un jour important parce que c'est le changement de sac de nourriture. Par exemple, ici le sac numéro 12 qui contient tout ce que je dois manger dans ma journée. Watching Damien Seguin trim his sails from the shore is like imagining a workout at the local gym. Watching Damien eat his midday ration is probably reminiscent of lunch at the cafeteria. Watching Damien trim his beard is similar to what happens in your own bathroom. We may not know everything about the adventures of the Vendée Globe skipper, but we do know a lot. However, we have far less knowledge of how a skipper's family experiences the race from their home ashore. Damien Seguin's family lives in Ore in southern Brittany. 
While dad is away on business sailing around the world, his 10-year-old daughter, Marjan, is taking a piano lesson by video due to lockdown. While Marjan is tinkling the ivories with her small hands, her mom is out in the garden picking lemons. Tiffen married Damien in 2009. She coordinates the various entities involved in her husband's Vendée Globe project, as well as taking care of the children while her husband is at sea. While Tiffen is picking lemons, 14-year-old Etan is watching how their father is faring. A father who is missing a hand and taking part in his first round-the-world solo. And despite his disability, he's performing really well. A father whose passion drives him to race and whose absence makes the heart grow fonder. À ma naissance, mon père était en mer. Donc euh, oui, j'ai vécu mes premières semaines, euh, il, y, il y était déjà. Puis il y va régulièrement, euh, à peu près tous les, tous les six mois, on le voit partir. Euh, deux semaines, un mois, ça peut varier. Moi, je suis très fier de lui, mais lui aussi, il peut être fier de lui parce que c'est l'accomplissement d'une vie, c'est le saint graal de tous les navigateurs. Ce qu'on vit là, c'est un moment, un moment merveilleux. On a, on a bah, rêvé en collectif, hein, on a rêvé en famille et, euh, et on profite, au contraire, on profite de chaque moment, de chaque coup de téléphone, de chaque photo qu'il envoie. Et c'est à chaque fois un cadeau. Hello! This November Wednesday is a big day. It is the first time since the start of the race that the family has been able to talk and see each other. Et Marjane a préparé des, des cookies. Marjane, elle est là. Elle a préparé des cookies aux pépites de chocolat. Et si tu viens vite, 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 on t'en garde un petit peu. Mais il faut que tu viennes très vite. Hein. Pas trop non plus. <rire> des cookies Wi-Fi. Et toi, tu manges quoi Je sais pas encore. Je sais pas. Je <rire> pas regardé ce que je D'accord. Bon, on pense très fort à toi. Prends soin de toi. Allez, papa. Allez, allez, coupe à piscine. Ouais, à fond. Je, 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 je à allez, allez, bisous. Ciao. Ciao, 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 ciao bon courage. Bisous. J'ai l'impression de vivre quelque chose d'extraordinaire, mais en même temps, ça force un peu l'admiration. Tu te dis que ton père est parti trois mois faire le vent des globes tout seul sur son petit bateau. Ils sont super contents de, de, de suivre la course. En même temps, ils ne sont, ils sont pas pris non plus à 100%. Ils ont aussi leur, leur problématique de, de jeunes et c'est très bien qu'ils gardent aussi leur, leur jardin secret. Donc voilà, s'ils ont beaucoup de questions, s'ils ont des questions à poser, en tout cas, on est là pour y répondre. Mais euh, voilà, ils suivent, ils suivent le parcours à, à leur rythme. The distance between Brittany and Damien's position in the Southern Hemisphere is of little importance, and the fact that the family are physically separated has not diminished their love. They are more united than ever, and delighted to share in the happiness of a husband and father who is thrilled to share his round-the-world adventure with them. I can tell you that it's cold, very, very cold. And the thing that lacks the most is a mozzarella de buffalo from the south of Italy. Et je pourrais me la manger tout de suite comme ça avec euh, comme une pomme. Hands down, Giancarlo is the closest thing to a chef among the Vendée Globe contenders, and he has broken the record for a number of food videos. The other skippers just eat, but pedote, cooking is about good food. Oggi ci facciamo tre uova con tantissimo parmigiano perché sta per scadere. Ostratino, pomodorini, due formaggini e taralli di merino. E voilà, buon appetito! Tarallo is a tasty pretzel-type snack from the south of Italy. 
ideal for pedote as he readies himself for the flavor of the South Seas. If the wind is on his side. The South Atlantic wind is unpredictable. When all is well, it is strong and comes with squalls. When it swings, it stops blowing and annoys everyone. The best medicine to the slow pace is bringing out the drone, something Benjamin Dutroux has really enjoyed. It soothes his nerves and took beautiful pictures. And when it came back, so did the wind, making him all the happier. Since the start, the women in this round the world have provided the best answers to Alexia Barrier's very good question. They are all still in the race and can be proud of their ocean racing performances. There are six ladies in this race. They have shown there is no weaker sex in the sailing world when it comes to facing bad weather and exhaustion whenever it started to set in. We're just tired. I'm really tired. 46 year old Pip Hare, who has crossed the Atlantic four times, is a newcomer to around the world racing. She is highly emotive. Look at this. Look at all that horizon. Isn't it beautiful? It's amazingly beautiful. If I was in the chase, I'd appreciate it a lot more. opportunity to race in the Vendée Globe. It gives me the chance to be the best version of me, to face every challenge head on and be accountable to myself. And I'm loving every minute. The difference between men and women in this race boils down to finances, since the rest is much the same. Samantha Davis is an expert on taking on male sailors. This year, she is up against her real-life partner, Romain Tanazio, in this race, and she's giving him a hiding in the ranking. Having finished fourth in the 2008 Vendée Globe, she is the only woman in the group of strong outsiders. Yeah, 
Whether in the leading group, in the middle, or at the back of the fleet, they continued to run down the Atlantic. The wind and the sea make no distinctions between female and male sailors. The wind and the sea have utmost respect for these happy women's zest for life. <laughs> 